Happy day two of the 12 days of Stitchmas. My name is Carrie and this is Tag Lily Designs. Welcome to day two of Stitchmas. What's Stitchmas? Is this your first one? Is this the first video you're seeing? It's gonna be great. Hunker down, I'll let me tell you about it. So during the first 12 days of December, I will be sharing such fiber art goodness with you. I've got stitching and knitting and yarn and fabric and quilting. Oh my, um, lots of fun. 12 days of giveaways, grand prize, all the things. What you need to do is you need to go back to the date one video, which is a little longer than the others, because that's where I'm gonna go over the administrative details of how you win the giveaway, how you participate, all the things. I'm not gonna repeat it every day, so go back and check out day one. Speaking of, if you watch day one, in the first 24 hours of seeing it, yay, love you. You are Tiger Lily super fans, thank you. But I did wanna let you know that you need to go re-comment. The YouTube gremlins ate the audio overnight last night and so for some reason, I don't know what happened, I had to take that video down and bring it back up again early this morning here on day two. And so I definitely don't want you to lose your comments. Obviously you don't need to watch the video again. Um, you saw it, you know the word, remember? Um, but I need you to just do the word, get your comment in so you can enter in the daily giveaway for that day. While you're entering, while we're speaking of it, hopefully we're gonna catch, day one's gonna be a little tricky, we'll have to see how it works. But since we're gonna have two featured giveaways every day, I want to keep them separate. Obviously, if you're a knitter, you don't want the cross-stitching giveaway. If you're a cross-stitcher, maybe you don't want the knitter giveaway. I don't know, maybe you do, but I only have one word per day and we have two prizes per day. So if you wanna put the word of the day as well as either knit or stitch, some of them are gonna be different themed, but I will tell you when we're going through the businesses, which is which. Um, so you're gonna do word of the day, word of the day today. Welcome, friends. What do you need the word of the day for? I'm gonna tell you one more time. You need it for the crossword puzzle, which is the grand prize giveaway. You need to complete this out over the next 12 days. You've got plenty of time. The crossword puzzle isn't due back in to enter the giveaway until the 24th of December. So don't worry if you're catching this later on in the month, you still got plenty of time to enter both the daily giveaway as well as the grand prize giveaway. So the word of today's day for day two is the word cheer. Yay. So you're gonna enter in the word cheer in your comment down below. Now remember, cheer, knit, cheer, stitch. Depending on which is which, we've got two fantastic companies or small businesses to feature today. And we're gonna dig right into those. But then you're also gonna enter in the word cheer in your giveaway and the crossword puzzle for the grand prize giveaway. I feel like I'm talking extra fast today. I'm gonna to try to Slow it down. Let me turn the speed down just a smidge. Okay, friends. So like I said, welcome to day two. I'm so excited. It's actually extra fun because it's Floss Tube Friday. I haven't decided if I'm going to do an extra Floss Tube or not. I can't. We'll see. I don't know. Um, because today I'm keeping the Stitch Miss videos on track, on point, not the normal Floss Tube Floss Miss um, segments in that one just because maybe if you're watching it later on you're like I don't want to mix in this Floss Miss stuff so let's just stick with this. So today we've got three pieces of fun like we do every day during Stitch Miss and we're going to start with the one that I think y'all have been anxiously waiting for. Maybe not. I don't know. But does anybody know this guy? I know you do. This guy he is my first Tiger Lily original cross stitch pattern chart. I think I released him about a month ago, give or take. So this is a freebie chart that you can get on my website. The link is down in the description box below. It's a freebie um, cross stitch chart. It is full coverage, but it is small. So don't be, don't be worried. The full coverage, it stitches up so quick. We've got a hashtag. It's hashtag Jolly Santa S-A-L. I finished this on a 141 wood wooden sled. I just painted it red, added some fabric, the sticky board, some bows, some glue gun, and she, and he was done. Shh. Did you catch that? Spoiler, the she. All right, so Santa was introduced a couple, about a month ago, and I think when I told you that I was doing him, that he might get some friends. Well, guess what? Today's the day his leading lady is joining the fun. 
Introducing Mrs. Claus, jolly Mrs. Claus. She's just so cute. Oh, let me get her bow so you can see. She's got her hair in a bun, a little mistletoe and holly in her hair. And of course, she's got her glasses, her black little bow tie, so cute. So Mrs. Claus is up and out, same exact size as Santa. This is a fully finished, this is the finish for today. Again, on a 141 design, super cute sled. These are available. I will link Chantel's site, website, Etsy shop down below. You can go grab one. I've got some gingham beads that I got from Amazon, the bows, the twigs. I finished them very nice because they're a matching pair. They are so cute. So now we've got Santa and his leading lady. Yay. So like I said, this is a free chart. This is the PDF download. You're going to get no need to screenshot. It's a free PDF. Just link down below. We'll take you right to the jelly Mrs. Claus and you can go grab that ornament. I think it stitches up pretty quick. There's lots of friends that have been using the hashtag on Instagram and showing the some color changes, some different finishing they're doing. Lots of them are stitching them because it's just such a cute little sweet finish. Like I said, stitches up real quick. It's a 30 by 60. I had to check the chart. 30 by 60. It is full coverage, but on 14 count Ada, which is easy peasy to stitch on. No supersonic light and glasses needed, at least in my world. And it stitches up real quick. Now, now one thing um, that my friend Rachel did, just in case you haven't done Santa yet. She used that furry floss. Oh, fudge. Petite tret. No. Pickles. You know the one that's a little fuzzy? I can't remember. I'm blanking on what it was, but she used such a cute little, the floss adaptation, the fuzzy white floss to make his beard fuzzy. Loved it. So cute, but make it your own. It's really, it's only seven colors. Really, who doesn't have a red and a white and a skin tone? Uh, black, gold, green, the end. So we've got our thread. Maybe there'll be another friend later on during Stitch Miss. We shall see. So that is the fully finished for today. Let me pop this over in the corner. So I hope you're excited for that. I was super excited to stitch that up and draw that up and share with you um, my original Tiger Lily design number two. So. Without further ado, we're going to dive right into the fun and the two businesses we've got today. So today, yesterday, we started with yarn. Today, or we ended with yarn. Today, we're going to start with the yarn. Today, to feature the yarn business. Let me get this in front of the camera. The name of the business is Earth and Impress. And she's got a Facebook page, an Instagram, and an Etsy shop. She's wrapped the whole yarn She's wrapped it in the way that she gets it. I'm sorry. She wrapped it for us in the way that she packages this for you. So her name is Carrie. She is a hand dyer down in, down in, up in Connecticut. I'm in Virginia, by the way. Um, so this is the way this would come to you. And of course, we're going to open it up and look at all the squishy yarn. But I wanted to just show you her presentation is adorable. This nice craft paper, pretty ribbon. And of course, who doesn't love a little knitting sticker? So she's got beautiful, beautiful yarn. So I'm gonna go ahead and clip away like I did yesterday and show you a little bit of her Instagram feed. Here we are, and we're going to check out the Earth and Impress Instagram feed first. So you can see she's a small batch indie yarn dyer from Connecticut. Her feed is full of so much yummy yarn goodness, so many different colors, inspirations, what she's doing behind the scenes. She's got reels that show you actually some of the dyeing process, some of her small business kind of like wrap a package with me reel. It was super fun to watch. She's got so much fun inspiration and it's such colorful things to see. If you go into her link tree, it will show you where all she's at. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pinterest. She is lots of places. Carrie is all the places. So if you click at the top, it'll take you to her Etsy shop, which here is where you're going to get all the options that you can add to your cart. So of course, I had to favorite her shop in my Etsy profile. And you can see she's got 144 yarns ready to go and ship out to you right now. So many different colors, so much 
such goodness. It was so hard for me not to put so many of these in my cart and add to it. But my favorite thing that she's got is this sweater quantity listing, which as you know, I'm knitting a sweater right now. And so getting and making sure that the dye lots for the sweaters all match is fantastic. So here she lets you choose any of her colors and then you get to pick what the weight you want and you know they all come from the same dye lot. So they're all going to match perfectly. That is fantastic. Let's go look at some of the Yoni yarn in person. Wasn't that fabulous? Oh my gosh. So her yarn on the computer was gorgeous. But right now what we're going to do is we're going to dig into some of the squishy and see it IRL in real life. Aren't you excited? Okay. So beautiful. Full ribbon. I'll definitely save this to use later on. I'm a big ribbon reuser. Are you a ribbon reuser? Um, oh, so sweet. So you open it up. It's a nice brown bag. So gorgeous. Okay, so she wraps it up in tissue paper. Oh. All right, let's see. Of course, I should have opened it. Let me read you her description. I asked some of the businesses to, to send them to me. I didn't know this was in here, so let me read this to you. I'm Carrie, the diary behind Earth and Impress. I live in Connecticut with her husband and two cats. She's a bachelor's degree in fine arts and has a great love for anything creative. She's been crocheting for 20 years and knitting for six. She's a background in art and a love for knitting and crocheting. And now she's discovered hand dyed yarn and she loves it. She loves playing with colors. And in the summer of 2020, she opened up and decided to leave her management retail job and start Earth and Impress Fibers. She loves also to read, big fan of books, movies, and nature. Love, love, love. Okay, so that is Carrie from Connecticut. And I showed you her picture when I was doing that little Instagram feed. So, oh, so gorgeous. So she sent us three yarns so that we can see and squish and see them all. Okay, let's, let's look at the weights. Okay. All right, so let's just do one. So this is called Siren's Song. And this is a single sock. 100% superwash merino, 400 yards per 100 grams, hand dyed in Connecticut. Do you see all those yummy colors and the pinks and the blues and the purples? So, so fun. Called Siren Song. Oh, bright, bright colors. This is a cozy DK, 100% superwash, 231 yards. This one is called Quibbler. Listen, I, in my next life, I, naming things is so fun. And I love that coming up with like nail polish colors or the crayon colors. Wouldn't that be so fun to come up with the names? And I think that Carrie's having fun doing it too. This is called, okay, love it. Hoodies and Bonfires. It is a classic sock. <coughs> Excuse me. It is a classic sock. 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. 463 yards, hoodies and bonfires. Look at that collection, so many colors. Do you see it's almost rainbow? Ah, this one I bet would swatch up so fun with the grays and the, the greens and the oranges and the blues and the all the colors of the world. So this is so yummy, earth and impress. Look at those gorgeous yarns. I love them so much. All right, friends. So as we're doing every day, one piece is going into the grand prize giveaway and one is going to be the daily giveaway. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put Quibbler in the grand prize box. Are you excited? And then if you want to win the single sock, Superwash Merino, 400 yards, Siren Song, you're going to use the word of the day down below in the comments. Remember, it's cheer. Cheer knit if you want to win the beautiful yarn from Carrie. Thank you so much, Carrie, for your donation to our giveaway for today. So hopefully you guys will go check out her shop on Instagram and her Etsy shop. All right, friends, let's go into our feature business number two. Now, again, presentation matters, and I'm a sucker for good presentation. And again, I didn't open it because I thought it would, I had to show you 
what they look like and I didn't want to ruin the presentation. So first, let me tell you the name of the company. Well, this is her business card. Her name is Brooke Fuller. And what she does, she is a 30 something person who lives in single business, woman owned business that lives in Maryland. She was a registered nurse in her previous life. Um, not that long ago, and to, decided to take a break after, you know, the panini and such. So she is now digging into the fiber arts and loving it. So she just came up with this. This was her original thought product. Spoiler, I am so excited to see it and to share it with you. Like I said, haven't opened it. I've seen it on the computer screen. And when I saw it, I was like, Oh my gosh, where have these been all my life? Okay, so the moral story is the shop is called, let me do the little shop tour. I'm gonna to put the shop tour right here so you can see a little sneak peek of what we got to see. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Brooke's Instagram page and a look at her cute little thing. It's what can't Brooke do? I love her picture with her cats. It's so fun. How fun would it be? You need to come and check her out. Give her a follow because, oh my gosh, these notions are going to blow your mind. Look at them. I don't want to give you too much away here on the product sneak peek because I think when we see them in person, you're going to flip out like I did. But she's got a great Instagram feed. You can see she's on TikTok doing all the reels. A little bit of cat fun. So fun. A little product in action goodness. So what you're going to do is she also sells her products on Etsy. Look at her sweet logo and all the things. So of course you got a favorite her shop. So I did, and she's got some fantastic products right here, ready to go ship out to you. So let's go back and look at the actual products in action, but she's got so many different varieties to choose from. You're going to want to check them out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready for the in person? Let's see what we've got. So like I said, I did not open them because I thought this would be so much more fun to open them with you. But this is how, first of all, this is how they arrived to me. So sweet. I mean, a gift box wrapped in this beautiful foliage ribbon with a holly berry charm wrapped around it. It's almost too pretty to open, but I'm going to open it. So I don't know what's in what. We're just going to see. But we're going to see some of the things on the, on the computer screen. We're going to see them in real life. <gasps> okay. So you open it up and like, ah, oh, okay. Remember when I send it to you, it's because I opened them, <laughs> but they're not used. Oh, I'm going to try to open it real careful. Careful like. All right. She's got a sticker. <gasps> So sweet. All right, friends. Look at those. Are you a cat person? Oh my goodness. Okay. So remember, this is what I, I didn't walk through them too much when I was showing you the tour, but what do these, what are these? I don't even know what she calls them. It's a needle threader with minder. So it's a double two for one. Where have you been all my life? Okay. So it's a needle threader. So what you do, we're just going to, Oh, they're, they're ribboned on, so I can't take it off. <gasps> okay, just kidding. This one I can't. Okay, so there's two. Okay, so this is a three pack. Sorry, this is how things happen in real life. So these two do not have magnets on them, right? This is just a needle threader. You keep it with your accoutrement. The one in the middle is the combo. Let me, let me put the pack on here so you can see it. So the one in the middle is the combo, meaning it has the needle threader. I'll keep it on the card so you can see it. See the little needle threader? That's what you put your floss in. And she said she came up with these because, of course, needle threaders trying to do the, first of all, the needle, tiny, the holes, are they microscopic? Because they're, they're so tiny, 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 tiny. And needle threaders, you know, everybody makes a new Bowen, DMC. They all, you can get needle thread. But pretty? Don't, we love pretty, right? I love pretty. So this is not only a functional needle threader, it's super cute. Okay, so, and how you keep this handy, that's why this is the double win, is it's a minder, meaning, you know, we know what minders are. So it's the magnet that's going to hold your needle, so you can use this as your needle minder in your, let me put it back together, in your project, 
So you not only do you have your needle minder to throw your needle on, you know, minding your needle, as we all know how those things work, but then you also have your handy dandy needle threader right there. <gasps> okay, so the cats, the little hanging cats, are they not the cutest little calico and the pink guy and the tan guy? Okay, so that was number one, cats. I don't even remember. Let's see what else we got. All right, so we're gonna go into box number two from Miss Brooke. So sweet. Remember her, first of all, her shop name. How adorable is that? What can't Brooke do? Love that. So, ooh, oh my goodness. All right. Sewing pins. Look how fantastically beautiful those pins are. Now, of course, you can use them as sewing pins. Yep. Ooh. They're sharp. So you could use them as sewing pins to actually, I don't think I'm going to use them in, in quilting. You could, I guess. You could use them and put them in the top of your biscornus. I mean, look, there's a butterfly and a cactus and a rose. So many gorgeous, gorgeous. So you can use them as counting pins. We all know that when you're trying to count like 50 or 60 or 100 rows of the same color to build a house out exterior, these counting pins. First of all, and then I love this little original origami of packaging. I don't wanna drop it. This origami of packaging is adorable. Look, it's got, and it's so that's her logo right there. And she's got sewing pins. <gasps> that, that is some ingenious, Ingenious products, love it. So super cute. So you can put it in this discorn you one of those um, little box things, uh, pin cushions. That's what I'm thinking of. Decorative pin cushions. So you could use it as a decorative pin because it's gorgeous, or you can use it as an actual functional pin if you want to count. All right. So our final box from Miss Brooke. We're gonna open it up and see what we've got. <gasps> So cute. All right, friends. So this is another one of those combos, needle threader and a needle minder. Look at the florals on that. I love it. I love it. So the back, she does give you nice instructions on how to use said needle threader and or minder in case you didn't know, but the presentation is everything. This cardstock is gorgeous, wrapped in the box, beautiful gift for yourself or for that. Um, I mean, so the, the needle threaders are not just for stitchers. Hand EPP people, EPP sewers. Quilters, if you hand quilt, you have to hand bind. Um, I do the hand binding on my quilt edges. So you are always are threading a needle. And I'm telling you, the needle holes are tiny in all the needles. It's not just embroidery or it's not just cross stitch. The needle threaders, I think it's just part of the game. And, and why not have them be pretty, right? All right, friends. Oh, so gorgeous. So remember, this shop is What Can't Brooke Do? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and put the kitty cats in today's giveaway because I think you need to have, you need to be a cat person to really appreciate that one. So you're going to use the word cheer and stitch if you want to win that cute little set of three cats. And the sewing pins, those are going in the grand prize giveaway box. So get excited. All right, friends, please. She's got this little, please be careful card note. So adorable. So that is today's thing. We've got Mrs. Claus. We have Earth and Impress yarn from Miss Carrie up in Connecticut. And then we have What Can't Brooke Do? who is Brooke in Maryland. All right, friends, so those are our featured businesses. As always, everything is linked down below. Their Etsy shop, their Instagram, all the things. Go check them out. Give them some love. Tell them Tiger Lily sent you. And that is day two, friends. I will see you tomorrow. Happy Stitchmas!